So in this video we're off to Welsh Wales and we're going to Bettersea Corrid. And uh, we're on the way to the um, Mersey Gateway. And uh, well, it's quite like this bridge. Yeah, I paid online, I had to pay six pound yeah. for a crossing. Yeah, one of my favourite tolls. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, so we're, so we're meeting up with Glyn and Sharon and uh, just really having a bit of a, a meet up. I'll show you around Better Security. Is it a Morris Leisure site? It is, it? yeah, called Riverside. Riverside, yeah. Yeah, we've never been, have we? No. We've obviously been to Wales before, but never stayed at this site. Yeah. It's a glorious sunny day, but uh, very cold. Right, so once we come off the bridge, yeah. We we'll go on the M56, don't we? Yeah. Then we pick up the A55, and then I think it's the A470. Yeah. So, got yeah. about two two hours, I think. left-hand lane here we can. We do, yeah. yeah. First exit. Yeah, you want to speak? Oh. What? Is it not up there? We're supposed to have gone? I think so. We're going to the 50, M56, aren't we? We are, yeah, but that's, yeah. that's... That's there. That's towards Northwich and Manchester on the oh, M56. Oh, is it? All right, OK. That's the other way, isn't it? That's yeah. that way. We're always behind something like that, so you can't see, so you can't see where the you're signs. going. Even though we're high up. Yeah. Very confusing traffic lights here. That almost looks like it's pointing this way. Yeah. yeah that's right, we go around in a huge sort of loop thing, yeah. don't they? It says North Wales. At the roundabout, take the first exit to M56. see it on the GoPro, but Glen now over there, the Great Horn. Take exit 19 on the left to A470, then enter the roundabout. Yeah, yeah, it seems to have developed a squeak. Well, I think like. it's the uh, cups and mugs squeaking together. Oh, is it? Plastic cups and mugs, yeah. Tea. How many roundabouts? Third. Third. Oh, it's handy. Yeah. Let me truck. Love it, I hate it. We're now in the 20 mile an hour zone. Yeah, we're doing 19 miles an hour. 19, yeah. God. You've been doing 60, 50 and 60. It feels it's slow, doesn't really, it? Really, really slow, yeah. Yeah, it's a motorhome and caravan dealer here. Conway Caravan. Con sorry, Conway Caravans. 
few water trails. I've got an old auto cruise. Okay. It's now 30 here. Case in point where the 20 mile an hour speed limit actually seems sensible. This is Clan Roost. Yeah, and it's very narrow, so very it? narrow. Just, just back there. Especially these corners, I have to take these quite slow because there's. Can't see. Can't see round the corner, and you obviously got to swing out. So, yeah. It's all 20 along here. Lovely river here. There's an amazing old bridge going over it. Yeah. Turn right, Better right Waterfall there. Pretty in there. In half a mile, turn right onto Old Church Road. Turning right. Turn right onto Old Church Road. get frightened of a little um the little train train that was yeah, going around. Yeah there's a little miniature railway. Miniature rail. Yeah because yeah, it was a steam one, it got really scared. Yeah. That's the entrance to the uh, museum, yeah. Museum. So you carry on down here. I did watch somebody else's arrival that yeah. video. Yeah you can see why you don't want to be uh, arriving too early here perhaps. No. Arriving at Riverside on the left. So golf. we go left here. Yeah. I say the golf course is down there somewhere. Somewhere do it late arrival, so it's not us, is it? No, we carry on through these statics. Okay. And I think somebody's arrived on the left there. Oh, Alright. I think there's another one on the right. Booking in the lanes. No yes. So we go in this bit. Yeah, I've got this um, ramp type thingy. Oh, right, that's that, a bit vicious, so, isn't it? <laughs> not advisable to try, try and drive not, over. Or drive through it. But yeah. obviously, you get a beeping thing, don't you? I and hope they so. obviously let you in. And I hope it doesn't come up halfway across. Oh, grief, yeah pay extra for Tara because we got Tara with us when we Sorry. booked we didn't know we'd got Tara with us. I think it's 150 a night isn't it for dogs? Yeah so I paid six pound extra for Tara. So we're on pitch 53. Yep so we go round I think to the left. To the left that's right. The one-way system. We've, 
are on a serviced pitch. So we'll fill up when we get there. That's a good chance to look around the site anyway, isn't it? Yeah. These are hard standing only, aren't they here? These ones, yeah. You have to pitch to the left of the pitch if you're reversing in. Okay. If you're at the other other way round, continental van, you have to drive in. Well, they were quite specific about that. Well, you don't get any clash of doors, do you? No. So, do we go carry on round? We carry on round, yeah. Just I think our pitch is over there, but she's shown it going, carrying on going round. All the way round. So you said it was a smallish site. It's okay, isn't it? Yeah, it looks bigger than uh, yeah. when I saw. Very much like the uh, Caravan Motown Club. Well, I have a feeling it was originally. Oh, right, okay. It does look like it, doesn't it? It does. The bollards are the same, The white, even the white pegs are the same. I mean, the Morris Leisure Group, I think, bought their first site in 1992. Okay. So I think prior to it being one of theirs, I think it was a caravan club site, but yeah, don't quite don't remember that. because that's you don't go well, that far back, do you? No, no, unfortunately not. Well, fortunately not. So not good. Of... He's cutting the hedge. <laughs> <laughs> so we carry on round yeah, to the right. Right, there. round to the right. Yeah. So that's thirty-nine there. Poppy's realised we've arrived. And we're looking for 53. 48. 49. That's still 48. Oh, it's still 48. Isn't it? That's 50. 50. That's 51. That's 52. So this one here then. So it's this one here. Yeah, round. Right in the sun there. Oh yeah, right in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're here. Yeah, it's very nice too. <laughs> turn you oh, turn you away from the sun. Got the hills in the background. Yeah, it's a beautiful bright day. But uh, yeah, the van's looking absolutely filthy. It is. <laughs> right girls. You want to go for a little walk then? I didn't see ah! where the dog walk was, did I? Got these really high hedges here, aren't they? Having to trim them there. Is that the railway line just there? Yes. Oh yeah. yeah so we've come down here. I think the dog walk's down here. It's just no ball games. This area is not for exercising or toileting your dog, please use the dog walk which is through the gate. Okay. Just look at the railway line there, it looks like it's going down quite a gradient there, doesn't it? It does. Looks like you could actually go out of the site for a dog walk. Okay. Got the railway bridge just here in the river. Okay. I don't know how muddy this is gonna be, but we'll soon find out. That's nice. Got it. Hang on, Tara. Oh, about the gate. Okay. Oh, very nice. Yeah, 
there to pass. Not exactly wheelchair accessible, is it? But no, dog dog accessible. A golf course just next door. A golf course it is, isn't it? Yeah. Jenny had her tooth done. Was it Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, you had it capped, didn't you? Crowned. Crowned, rather. Capped. Yeah, had a temporary crown for two weeks. Yeah. And then I had the main one fitted, and it's all the sort of pulling your mouth about. Yeah, her mouth's a bit sore. Yeah. So she won't. She says you're not going to say much. No, but she thought was. Which may or may not be a bonus. Yes. <laughs> Very nice golf course. Poppy. You reckon, Fox? Okay. You can do it. Fox, how much further this is going to go? I'm going to have to look on a map. We need something else to eat, so we might turn back here, but it does look oh. like it goes quite a way. Yeah, map, we could have walked around the golf course and come back through the town. I think you take, you take, yeah, you can walk along the river to the station and back. Okay. Over there somewhere. You're all set up then, T. Hey? Eh? Got, your, got your new bed, haven't you? To match Poppy's slightly older bed. Poppy's watching next door set up. Entertainment for the day and that's setting up. Caravan is setting up. All right, 100% filled out with water. This is the panel that we're demonstrating. That will be in another video. Uh, but uh, that's a little glance of it, so watch out for that video. Yeah. There's the train going past. Okay. A little two, two coach thing. But yeah, that's the regular train, and you you can take that and you can catch a connecting uh, service through to Conway. Yeah, I'm not going to leave the hose out because it's going to get down to freezing tonight. But I have put the tank heater on, so that will keep that tank from freezing in theory. It usually does. Or uh, if there's 15% in the waste tank, it'll keep that from freezing as well. Yeah, so <laughs> gurgle, gurgle. Had the water switched off, uh, so I've just switched the pump on. We're going to pump it through. A quick mention for my uh, new winter boots. These have been sent to me by Fitville. Uh, so if you want to spot a YouTuber, just look for Fitville on their shoes. <laughs> I'll say it before anyone else says it, but. Um, I've been try, trying out these boots, they're fur-lined, a bit of ankle here, uh, the fur-lined so they are really warm. The only thing I think about them is that they're a little bit on the big side but then Fitville um, sizes tend to be quite wide. But the great thing about these, apart from the fact that they're furry and keep your, your feet dry, is it's really easy to get them on and off. So, you know, if you're going in and out of the van in the winter, I think that's brilliant. <laughs> Just got a couple of straps to, to do them up. And there you go. And you've got warm ankles. I will be doing um, a bit more of a review on uh, the Fitville shoes, I think, but I thought we'd better mention it. As usual, the links will be in the description below. Uh, so if you're interested in a pair of uh, nice, comfortable Fitville boots have a look at that like I say possibly a little bit on the large side I'm normally size nine but I probably would have been all right with an eight and a half UK size that is but they're all right you do them up uh, better Jenny's been set uh, sent a pair but uh, she, all the all these circumstances are going to be right for her to try them <laughs> I bought some inner soles for them because I did try them on and yeah I thought feet were moving yeah so, so uh, at the moment, all you all you got just socks here. <laughs> so no yeah. Fitville boots. No, not the moment. Not yet. We'll let you know. So how much is this site? 
Right, well it should have been £169.60, okay? Yeah. But uh, that was just for one dog, yeah. four days. Yeah. Um, but there was a three for two offer through the on the site and yeah. a caravan and motorhome club discount. Yeah. So all of that came to minus 38. Right. So, oh sorry, no, that, that was the three for two offer was £38 was yeah. taken off. Yeah. Okay. Um, then there was a member discount for being in the CMC, yeah. and that was seventeen pounds sixty. Right. So that left a balance of one hundred and twenty. Right. I paid forty pound <laughs> deposit, yeah. so I had to pay eighty pounds, and yeah. we had to pay it by two days before we arrived. Yeah. Not on the day when we arrived, no, but two but days but before. At least two days before. Yeah. yeah that's okay. right. Um, and then obviously on top of that, so we paid one hundred and twenty four nights so that's 30 pound but we also had to pay one pound 50 a night extra for little tara so what do you reckon t so it's 12 pound for the two dogs <laughs> don't think tara's bothered no no i'll send her the bill later yeah Here's so you have to bring you have to bring sorry how much was it <laughs> oh <laughs> no just do with the total <laughs> 120, 120 four nights, so it's yeah. thirty pound a night. Okay. You have to bring actually you get the same discount with if you're a member of the camping and caravanning club, but you must bring your membership card with you. Oh, she didn't was... ask to see that. Oh, it's as easy. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Okay then. So a quick look at the boots. You can see I have been using them. They feel quite uh, grippy, so uh, yeah, look a little bit like work boots, I suppose, but I'm not too bothered about that. And nicer insoles, and you've got this sort of not exactly Velcro. It's like um, I don't know what it is, like a plastic Velcro type thing. And that works quite well. No one else to tell you about them. They seem to be waterproof, probably snowproof. Looking forward to getting more use out of them. There you go. Fitville boots. Well, I just had a walk up to the top half of the town. Early morning, the sun's not up yet, so it's still a bit dark for a GoPro. But yeah, it's lovely up here. Suspension bridge here, there's Forest Walk, yeah, used to centre. There's the Royal Oak Hotel. And there are shops here. A very nice uh, old church. Hotel here and a restaurant. Girls are all wrapped up in their coats. There's the railway. Yeah, it's very cold this morning. There's a suspension bridge here, but it looks like it have closed it off. Whether the bridge is unsafe or not. But, uh, oh, oh. Yeah, I've got the railway museum here, right next to Bethesda Coed uh, Station. There's the Conway Valley Railway, the little miniature railway. Yeah. Pretty little station. There's fairly well stocked shop in there. That's uh, you know various sort of accessories and uh, essentials. Barrier. Here. <laughs> yeah, and the toilet block is just here. And closed. Eleven till twelve. 
yeah and just here is the motor van waste disposal point a couple of grates here yeah. and Sharon's caravan just here and a little, little bit further down and they're just here Last full day, it's Sunday um, at, at Riverside, I'm here I'm by the river, and uh, I've really enjoyed it here. I think we've avoided the worst of the weather. There's some pretty bad snow sort of in, in areas surrounding us, but uh, it's actually not been too bad here. It's a bit icy this morning, but we enjoyed it here and uh, I've recorded so much I've got space for another video so uh, stick with us and the next video will be what we did at Riverside whilst we were here and we had a really good time so join us in that and if you've been watching so far thanks for watching and we'll catch you soon see you then bye